Hi there. In this video, we're going to walk through an example of how you can use Adalo custom actions together with Zapier's webhook trigger to do just about anything. And specifically in this case, I've got a little example app here where I've got a list of users and I want to click on them and then on the next screen, uh, register them for our upcoming new customer webinar. So to make that work, we're going to first start with uh, Zapier. So if I go over here, we've got a new Zap started. So I need to choose my trigger. And in this case, I'm going to search for webhook. And you can see the webhooks by Zapier app here that you can choose. You'll notice this is a premium one. So you've got to be on a specific plan on Zapier to be able to access that. Um, and now for the trigger, uh, what you want to choose is this one that's called catch hook. So now we can do continue. And you'll see here that they give a webhook URL. And so we're going to go ahead and copy that and I click continue. And it's now going to say we want to test the triggers. So they want us to send data to that URL. So now we got to head over to Adalo and start setting up our custom action. So we're going to go ahead and do add action. We're going to choose custom action and then new custom action. And we're going to call this uh, webinar registration. And for the type of action, it's going to be a create. And so we'll go to next. And then here's where we can put in our uh, base URL that we copied. Um, and then for the method, this is going to be a post. And now, um, because this is a Zapier webhook, they don't require any authorization. So we can skip over this step of the setup and start working on our body. So here we can enter the JSON that we want to send to Zapier. So um, of course, all JSON requesting to start in with curly brackets. So we'll add that. And then uh, we can just enter in the properties that we want to send over. So it starts with the name of the properties. Of course, we want to send over email. And then we're going to do the same thing with our first name. And oops, we're going to make sure to separate these with commas here. And then we will go ahead and do a last name as well. Um, so now we've got the properties set up. We don't have any values in uh, in these quotes here, so we're going to add inputs for those. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, text input for each of these. So this one will be email. We have to add example values for when we run our test, uh, which we'll do just uh, in just a second. So this will be test and example.com. And we can go ahead and click down here and add the next one. So this will be our first name input. And we can add our last one here for our last name input. And then click done. And now that we've created those inputs, we can add them into our request body using a magic text icon. So we'll add email and let's get first name in there. And then uh, last name as well. Okay, now uh, we're ready to go to the next step to run our test request. And we can click on run test. Okay, it looks like it was successful. Now if we go back onto the Zapier side, we can say that we've sent the data. So we click on test trigger here. And uh, you can see that the test information has come through. So now we can continue on. And we're going to uh, now add our action on the Zapier side. So here's where you can do just about anything. Um, you can send that data to Twilio, to Slack, to Google Sheets, Webflow. Uh, I had mentioned Zoom before. Of course, you can use custom actions to integrate directly with any of these APIs. Uh, and you know, obviously in that case, you don't have to be on the paid Zapier plan to do so, but there still might be times when uh, it's more convenient uh, to have the setup uh, just go through Zapier. So like I mentioned before, this is going to be a registration for a Zoom webinar. So I choose Zoom as my app. I'm going to choose uh, Create Registrant as the event here. 
and we'll go to continue to the next step. We'll pick the Zoom account that I've connected to Zapier already. And now we're going to choose the webinar. We're going to choose our Adalo new customer webinar. And then for the email, now I can use the information from the first step of the Zap. So I can grab uh, email and put that in here. And then I can, of course, do the same thing with the first name and last name as well. And uh, in this case, uh, Zoom gives me the option of whether or not I want to send a confirmation email. We'll say yes and click continue. And we can do test and continue here. And now that we've passed the test, we've got to remember to turn our zap on. Very important. You don't want to skip that step. Now, back in Adalo, we can save our custom action. And you can see the custom action has been added to this register button. And now we just need to uh, fill it out. So for the email, we want this to be the current user's email. So that's the user that I clicked on on this list on my home screen to get over here. And then we're going to add their first name and last name as well. And click Done. And that's it. Now, whenever I load my app, I can pick a user from this list, click register, and it will instantly send that information to Zapier, which will then instantly send it to Zoom, and bam, they're registered for the email or for the webinar. So there you go. That's how you can use Adalo Custom Actions in conjunction with Zapier's webhook trigger to do just about anything.